So Dean, another win, that's three in a row now. How happy are you with that one? Yeah, they're a very good side. You know, they're a team that are definitely pushing for promotion like ourselves. Um, they showed their character as well, coming back and equalising. But um, our top four staff, a little bit more quality in the final tour, which has sort of been our, our nemesis a little bit in the first four games. I think we can be further ahead. Um, obviously a fantastic goal from Chappers. Um, and then obviously they've equalised the second half. To be fair to, be fair to air lads, their subs made a huge impact and they made a big impact to the day as well. So um, on Tuesday night, um, they were all involved in the goal Tuesday night. And once again today, I thought Richard Narty come on and Grubo come on. Fantastic debuts. Um, young Jermaine come on, run his socks off. So Skip went on and sent them midfield. Can you believe that, eh? Can you tell that happened? Because we're short in that department at the minute with injuries, um, he's gone on. They've all done a great job for the team. Made huge impacts for us. Yes, like you just sort of just sort of touched on there about about self end subs. They came out their shell a bit more in the second half. Would you put that down to the substitutions and the and the changes? Uh, to be fair to them, they just started dominating the ball more in the midfield. Cav Moyle was getting way too much of the ball. Obviously, we made the decision to put we changed their system as he was dominating. Um, he just wasn't having a great time down here, to be honest with you, against Gus Scott, Gus Scott Morris. It was a sub I did think about five minutes early before he actually scored. And he just looked tired, he looked fatigued. Um, and I just, what we did was, all we did, we put Shelton on Moiley. Uh, we put um, Richard Narty into midfield, Moncourt. And then obviously against Coker. And we had Hartigan and we went to up front, we put Blundy up front. And we're so short and centre forward at the minute, it's, it's something we have to sort out what we're trying to do. We'll see what happens, obviously the window closes next week, so we'll just see what happens. But tactics happen in games, they happen in games, and they're a good team, got a good manager. Um, so obviously we've adapted to that, but I thought our goal and our response was outstanding. Chappers torn here, great phase, come down the side, good pattern in the play, good one to us. And obviously he's played a great pass and we've managed to get a penalty from it and good composure by Shelts for the penalty. Yeah, like you just said about reactions, obviously when we considered the equaliser, to get back up and, and find ourselves back in the lead again just you know a few minutes after, you must be really happy with how yeah. the response went. Brilliant sign. sign. Sign of a good side. Sign of a good side. There's a long way to go, we've got 42 more games to go, but sign of a good side. Um, the support I've had from the chairman here this summer has been outstanding. Um, we've got a great relationship. And the support he's given me over th this week, especially with the injuries, we would only have four on the bench today if, if we didn't sign the players we signed yesterday. So the um, support we've had has, has been outstanding. But the Glover and that, we've been, I've been after him for a long time. I've quote that to you, I've been after him probably about three years. So and Richard Knight has been on my radar for a couple of years as well. So and he's a high class player. You say a sign of a good team. Obviously, you've sort of said about the injuries, and you know, no matter what changes you seem to be doing the last few games, it seems to be still finding a plan and finding that way to win. Yeah, just, that's just that's just strength and depth to the squad, and I've said that to the players. The first day, the, uh, the week, this, uh, the season started. I said you're all going to be needed, so don't be disappointed now that you're not playing this week. I think it was, I think it was the, the Friday before. Actually, it was the team meeting away at Halifax. I said some of you're going to be disappointed you're not playing, but you're going to be needed. It was Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Monday, in a few weeks. Next week, you know, we play Monday again. So just the strength and depth of the squad. We've got a lot of uh, good quality. We've got two to each position, which I wanted. Um, we're still in the market for a strike, I have to be honest, but that just takes time. Uh, we're in conversation with several clubs over that, so we'll see what happens with that. One play you've praised a lot the last couple of weeks is Harry Chapman. He obviously got his first start today and his first goal as well. What did you make to his uh, efforts today? Yeah, just class, isn't it? The game's tight. Harry drops his shoulder. Great composure by Hart. He took the ball at the scores, a couple of headers and second balls. Good composure, played a lovely little pass on the angle. And Chappers can just do that to you. He's got serious quality. The two real bits of quality in the game come from Chappers. Serious bits of quality in this attacking ways. And uh, he's a player I love, to be honest. I love players like him. They're exciting. They can, he can dribble. He can pass. He played a pass here the other night for, uh, for Brunty's goal. A second ball in midfield. Brunty's headed it to him. And he punched the ball in one straight to steady. Unbelievable class. You don't realise how good that is. That is a high-class player. That's a player, really, that shouldn't be at this level. But that's the way it goes. That's his career. That's what's happened. So their aim is to keep improving him. He's improved their team straight away. Straight away. Like I said earlier, three wins in a row now. The confidence must be sky high with not only the coaching staff but the players as well. Yeah, we're all buzzing. Look, we, we don't get too too far ahead of ourselves. It, it is cliche. Look, we'll debrief this. We're in tomorrow. We'll show it with the players. We'll move straight on. We cross the line. We'll move straight on to Maidenhead. It's so hard to go to Maidenhead. It's such a tough place to go. Alan Devonshire. I think on the foil today and drawing the nil. I think such a brilliant manager. I think he's underestimated at this level. I think he's a fantastic manager. One of the good guys in the game as well. But his resources there, what he does is outstanding. I know they have a lot of pace and wide areas, so well organised defensively. So it's going to be a different test to today. I think we'll have a lot of possession. Um, we've got to try to stop counter attacks, I think that's important. Um, and then we've got to have more end product in the
in the final tour. You know, like I say, at half time, I think we should be uh, should be two up. I'm not saying we should be three, four, or five, but we should be two up for the areas we got in uh, for the dominance we had. So that's what I'll be looking to improve on. Yeah, just speaking on Maidenhead, obviously they've struggled at the start of the season, but there's no easy game in this division at all, is there? Uh, listen, Alan Devonshire will get his 50 points that he aims for every season with the resources of that club. It's guaranteed. He does an unbelievable job. Um, and he, uh, obviously, their football club, they've sort of got to wait a little bit for players. They've got to wait because the market needs to come to them. You know, for the budget they have and what they do uh, is outstanding. But such a tough place to go, if not one of the toughest places in the division to go. Thanks, Tom, dude.